thousands of miles above our heads, hundreds of thousands of pieces of junk. Man-made rubbish travelling ten times the speed of a bullet. And the damage they can cause is the stuff of blockbuster movies. In real life, even a fleck of paint can be catastrophic. This picture, taken by astronaut Tim Peake, shows a crack in the space station window caused by debris smaller than a grain of sand. The problem with space junk is that it can damage functioning satellites then we might lose uh, the ability to use our phones, uh, the weather forecast might be uh, disrupted, uh, communications, navigation, so everything we take for granted with our mobile devices could be affected. According to NASA, there are now more than half a million pieces of junk in space big enough to be tracked from Earth. Each piece is travelling up to 17,500 miles per hour and the number is rising. So could a harpoon be the answer? Today in Stevenage, that's Three, what was tested. Two, one. Woohoo! Accelerating with a force of 1,500 Gs, we need to see that again in slow motion. If they can make it work in space, a full-size harpoon would look to spear a satellite the size of a double-decker bus. So we'd fire this uh, towards the target, and then once it impacted it and went through, the barbs would open like that. So you, you've snared the satellite, but how do you go about getting rid of it without, importantly, it breaking into more pieces? What we'd do is we'd use a set of thrusters and then tow it back out of orbit. And by going out of orbit, it burns up? Exactly. And if you're wondering why we don't just blow up the junk with missiles, well, the Chinese tried that 11 years ago. The end result was 2,000 extra pieces of deadly debris instead of just one satellite. Martin Stew, ITV News.